Hey guys, what is up? Lefty back here again, and thanks for checking out the video. Uh, so real quick, before we get into the video here, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I haven't put up a video in like a week and a half, uh, just because I've been so busy, and also because for people who do not know, when I make a video, I like to sit on it a little bit, uh, one, so I can edit it, but also two, um, you know, if I don't like it, I can just fucking delete it, and that's usually been the case like the past uh, week and a half. Everything I've made, I've just been just disgusted with. It was just like, it's just terrible people and people like this shit. But anyway, uh, thank you for all my new subscribers. And today I wanted to do a quick little video so I can put a uh, some content content up on the, on the channel. So I think this will be kind of an interesting topic too. Maybe some people will find it interesting. Hopefully everybody will. But if they don't, uh, I don't know. Go watch uh, Nothing Fancy or some shit. Anyway, let's get right into it. So what we're going to be talking about is just kind of my little experiment that I had with my 16-inch uh, BCM here. Uh... I'll go through the specs, I guess. This is a complete 16-inch BCM upper with kind of a lightweight profile barrel there. It is a 1 in 7 twist. I believe the barrels for BCM have been FN. That's what people think. So uh, these are very, very good barrels. Not the most accurate, first and foremost, but they are very, very good barrels. The lower is a Spikes Tactical. I believe it's the enhanced lower or the slightly more expensive parts in there where it has the AMB safety. Uh, the anti-roll pins and also the slightly better trigger um, but yeah that, that's pretty much it and then also the optic is the Acupower uh, from Trigicon 1 to 4 in a American Defense mount so uh, this is kind of my do most kind of rifle it will do a lot from longer distance to kind of your CQB range so this will be a good uh, duty weapon for a patrol rifle or something like that and you can go from uh, CQB ranges and crank it up to 4 power now you got Pretty goddamn good shots uh, capability at, you know, 100 plus for people that have kind of shitty eyesight, like myself. I'm not saying I couldn't make those shots with the red dot, just it's much, much easier with that kind of optic. So, uh, but yeah, pretty much the only thing it doesn't do great on is stuff in vehicles just because it has a longer barrel. But anyway, let's get into the accuracy. All right, so I'm going to go through some of the ammunition that I used here. Um, it's not going to be everything, just the things that I thought performed the best, or maybe, you know, that's not like outrageously expensive or hand loaded or any of that shit, because I, I, I just don't do that stuff. Actually, let me move this gun out of the way a little bit more so we can fit all this crap in here. Okay, so this is kind of a, a good mixture of the stuff that I use. And I was really trying to find an ammunition, obviously, that will work best with my gun. For people who do not know, just because you buy Black Hills ammunition doesn't mean you're going to get you know, a quarter MOA at 300 yards kind of shit. Uh, it's kind of like a shotgun in a lot of respects. I mean, remember, this is century-old technology here. Uh, our projectiles have gotten a little bit better, right? But we're still using te uh, century-old technology where we're lighting off black powder and we're fucking shooting a lead mullet or a lead metal uh, projectile down a pipe, you know? So this has a lot of variables still that we have to account for, just like a shotgun. Same shotgun, different ammunition, will, uh, the spread will be completely different. Uh, even a slightly different barrel will actually change the spread. So just kind of keep that in mind too, that it doesn't matter what gun you have, doesn't matter how much you paid for the ammo, make sure your shit uh, shoots it and lights it the best. So real quick, my kind of experiences here. Um, all of these worked, right? No, I had no malfunctions or anything like that. Uh, the one, and like I said, this is a 1 in 7 uh, inch twist on the barrel. The ammunition that it liked the most was, ironically, the 69 grain Sierra stuff from IMI. Um, kind of interesting uh, about that. Um, yeah, I was actually a little bit surprised and actually kind of relieved, too, because this shit is outrageously expensive. Um, this stuff you can get probably around 50 cents around. This stuff is basically almost a buck, depending on where you look. So I was kind of relieved about that. And then you could also say, too, it's kind of subconsciously I was shooting better. <laughs> with this stuff because I couldn't afford obviously the Black Hill stuff but who knows and, and by the way these were shot um, sort of on different days most of this was on one day but this was at the same rest same bench kind of shit so the variables were kind of limited right so I didn't heat up the barrel as well and then also too uh, I think I mentioned this this is the kind of enhanced trigger but it's not a like DMR sniper trigger it's about five six inch pounds single stage shit so it's not Horrible for shooting longer distance, but I can easily increase that group uh, size with a like a Gazi or something like that. But just kind of you know keep that uh, you know everything was the same, nothing was changed by shooting these groups. I'll, I'll say that. But yeah, I really really like this. Uh, this was the most accurate out of my gun. I don't know why. I just really really liked it. I guess 
And then this was a very, very, very close second. This was just a smaller, on average, group than this one. Um, basically shot this at the same paper. The hole that both these made, five shot groups, was, was literally the size of my uh, thumbnail, which was uh, pretty cool. So that was, these were getting, all of these things were basically shooting between roughly 1 and 1.5, maybe a little bit bigger MOA on some of this stuff. This, I think, was shooting almost fucking 2. I, I, I don't know why, uh, especially when we get to this, because this, these are essentially the same projectile, but this is loaded in... Uh, Lake City Brass, I believe. Um, yeah, Hornady Bullets, Lake City Brass, or, or some shit like that. Um, basically, in terms of performance, it was this one was most accurate, second, third, fourth, fifth, I believe. Um, so, very, very interesting uh, results I was expecting. I mean, I took this to the range, man. I was just like semi erect, you know, pants were a little bit tight. I was like, man, I'm going to shoot like a goddamn sniper today. Get you know half inch M away, but uh, no, that was uh, that was not the fucking case. Now, not to say that any of this is bad ammunition or that you shouldn't use this. Obviously, this is very good ammunition. If it if you shoot in your gun and your gun likes it, man, shoot it all day every day if you can afford it. But yeah, uh, for whatever reason, my gun really really liked uh, this stuff. Now, all of these ammunition, like I said, is good for longer dis distance shooting and also defensive applications because these are a little bit heavier and most of them have some type of a uh, hollow point uh, tip to them. So like I said, good ammunition, just my gun just really, really liked uh, this ammunition. So, take it for what you will, that was my kind of uh, kind of results from it. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Um, I do want to do a couple more videos in particular with uh, some of the AR. I've been kind of neglecting some of the AR stuff, so I kind of want to do that a little bit more. I've been focusing more on like an EDC handgun stuff, which obviously is good stuff too, but... I want to do uh, kind of how I set up rifles, home defense uh, setups, and, and stuff like that. So that would be kind of interesting, and we'll see what comes of that. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. If you liked it, you know, drop, uh, drop a like, keep those up, those subscribes, and then also hit that stupid uh, bell notification, because otherwise YouTube will block my shit from you guys. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be good.